family, family. Come on through, family. Come on through, family. Come on and hang. Come on through. Come and hang with me. Come on through. Come on through. What up? Lottie up in here. Eddie Sean up in here. Thank you for the share. Man, I'm glad you said that too, because we gotta send your we gotta send your stuff out today, Miss Lonnie. Lynn up in here. Toby up in here. What's up, brother? Deidre up in here. Good morning. I want to talk about unforced errors. Unforced errors. That's a tennis term. Unforced errors. Do y'all realize, like, for real, like, seriously, the only person who can get in your way is you. The only person who has authority to stop you and to get in your way is you. Not the devil. Not your hater. Not your baby mama or your baby daddy. You. Unforced errors and again a lot of times again we like to give devil credit when in all actuality i mean we're the culprits we're 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 public enemy number one because we do some dumb stuff sometimes and and a lot of the stuff that we do that's dumb is based upon emotions I mean, it's not even based upon... If you want to take your heart out of stuff, you probably you probably would make better choices. But you lead with your heart. You lead with your emotions. But your emotions will let you down. Because you got to keep in mind, your emotions change from day to day. You got to keep that in mind. Your emotions change from day to day. If, if you ever watched... The TV show uh, Snap, you know what I'm talking about. Somebody gonna kill somebody in the episode. But the funny thing is, at some point, somebody liked somebody. They both were in love at some point. But feelings changed. Feelings changed. Now, how many things have you robbed yourself out of? Because of your feelings. I have a lot of people say, say, you know what? I'm just not motivated. Okay, motivation is a feeling. In other words, you're not driven to do something at a particular point in time. That's a feeling. But how motivated are you when you get a bad doctor's report? <laughs> and they want to put your butt on high blood pressure medicine. Now your feelings change. You got to get out of your own way. You got to stop being driven by your feelings. Because again, a lot of y'all, for a lot of y'all, uh, your feelings are keeping you away from, from the things you should have the most. Things that you yearn for, things that you want, need, and desire, you won't achieve because your feelings are in the way. Fear is in the way. Fear is in the way. Being anxious is in the way. You still holding on to old stuff that you never got over. That's a feeling. Well, I want to do this, but then that's when you do that little flashback scene in your mind where you start thinking about the last time you know you gave your heart to somebody or the last time you know, you try to start the business or, you know, the last time you let somebody borrow something and, you know, uh, you ended up cutting ties with people because of. You got to, so at some point you got to say, you know what, I'm in my way. Sometimes you just have to be honest with yourself. I'm in my way. 
And when you can say, hey, I am in my way, then then you can start making better choices that move you closer to your to your stuff. But until you acknowledge that your feelings are getting in your way, the number one, and, and, and I just thought about it, the number one feeling that I always hear every day, I'm afraid. I'm, I'm afraid. I hear that every day, no matter if it's in my DM, uh, no matter if it's in my inbox. Um, I always get, I'm afraid, I'm scared. But what if? But it, you, you see what I'm saying? So you can't let your feelings run you. You got to, a lot of times you got to stay here. You got to be logical. Does this make sense? Can I? Yes or no? See, sometimes you got to be objective when it comes to you. Again, you give the best advice to other people. But then when it comes to you, you don't give you don't give yourself good advice because you're you're being led by this. Again, if if somebody if it was your kid and they were in the same situation you're in, struggle with the same situation, you would give them totally different. You you would give them the right advice. You'll give them the right advice. Stand on it, swear by it. But when it comes to you, the the advice is a little bit different. And it's and it always baffled me how you can give other people better advice than you give yourself. You give your best, and and and, and you know this is what y'all do. You give your best to everybody else, but you. You you get you give your best to everybody, but you don't do the same thing for you. I'm just I'm just saying. It's what you do. You give the best advice to other people. You give energy and effort to other people. Um, you keep your word with other people more so than you will yourself. And I don't understand that. People you deal with, you give your best, they they leave you. So regardless, you still will have you. So it makes no sense for me. You you give your money away. Uh, you 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 give your you're more passionate when it comes to other people. You know you get excited about other people, but you can't get excited about you. I don't get that. You can get excited about Beyonce, but you can't get excited about. You. You'll post stuff about other people, but you'll never post anything really about you. You'll support you'll support people, and I see this all the time. You'll support people that don't <laughs> support you. You'll post about people who don't post nothing about you really. I'm part of this. I'm part of that. But they don't never talk about you. I support this, but they don't never support. There's a problem. That's a serious problem. You support people that don't support you. You'll break your neck. You'll bend over backwards for people who won't even do half the stuff you do. I mean, you got you to gotta look at that. And you got to understand what that, what, where is that coming from? Again, you got to get out your feelings. Again, being practical, being practical says this. Well, being objective. Let me say it, let me say it like this. Being objective will keep you out of a lot of stuff. Does this make sense? Yes or no? If this were my kid, would I give them the same advice as, as I'm doing right now. Probably not. Probably not. Because again, you give better advice to people you care about than you do yourself. So, what I'm encouraging you to do is uh, do less of this, do more of this. 
be thoughtful towards you. Because <laughs> again, I see it all the time. You, you, you give everything to everybody else, but you don't, you don't, you don't think about you. And you don't think about what it's doing to you. Because again, your heart will lead you astray. But your mind will keep you there. Again, your, your, your heart, your feelings. And then, man, let me ask you this. If, you, if you're driven by your feelings, say you're talking to me, coach. Be honest. If you're driven by your feelings, it might not even be practical for you to be doing half the stuff you're doing. But if I'm talking to you, say you're talking to me. Say I, 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 I'm led by my heart. My heart sometimes lets me down. I mean, even in the even in the Bible, it talks about guard, guarding your heart. You have to. Y'all be like giving it away. <laughs> Shoot, take me. Shoot. And then be crying at night because of all of the pressure that's mounting on you. You know, because you you give your best, but you get nothing in return. Let let. Let, let me show you what the what, what that's the equivalent equivalent of. Hold on. Okay. Let me show you something. Let, let me show you something. Let me flip this. Now, across the street is, let me zoom in. Across the street is SunTrust. That's SunTrust right there. Okay. That's SunTrust. Now, let me show you what y'all doing. See, what a lot of y'all do. See, this is SunTrust. And again, this is where you you invest and you put money in stuff, you know, you deposit stuff now. Now let me give you something good. For seven straight days, you'll deposit into people. SunTrust. You'll deposit into people and you'll walk into the bank and you'll and you will have deposited probably five thousand dollars worth of love worth of emotions but then you give the person at the counter your card and it says that there's 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 neg you in the red it's negative you don't have anything actually you owe some more yo your stuff has been you in the you in the overdraft ministry <laughs> You ain't got nothing in there and you still owe people. But you like, but I done deposited all of this money for the week and I don't have anything I can, I can pull out. I didn't get anything back for it. I don't have anything to show for it. And that's how y'all living. That's how a lot of y'all living. You deposit, but then when it's time for you to, to pull your money out, there's nothing there. And again, you're giving your best every week with nothing to show for it. Because you give your heart to people who can't return it back to you. You're constantly in the red. You're constantly in the red. Because again, you're being led, you being you're being led by your emotions. Get out your feelings. If you agree to get out your feelings, because you're not getting a return on your feelings. Say, I got you, coach. And again, think about it like that. You're not getting a return on your investment. That's how you should look at your life. If you're not getting a return on something that you've invested in heavily, you got to leave it alone. Again, you will hear me say this all the time. You got to look at your life as if you are the CEO of a company, of a Fortune 500 company. And again, they don't hire people, their top people, based upon if you're a nice person, if you go to church, you know, if you're a Democrat or Republican, if you're black or white, male or female. They base stuff based upon performance. Am I getting something from my investment? What is my return? Am I profiting from this? Or am I always losing at the end of the month? Look at your life that way. You'll make better decisions. Lead with your head, not with your heart. Because again, your heart, your, your heart will lead you wrong. Because again, feelings change. Your situations will change. But if your heart is still in the same spot in something that's changing, 
is going to get crushed. <laughs> Absolutely crushed. And now you got another scar. And 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 now you got more stuff attached. You, you ever see a train and you see all of the stuff that's connected to the train? I mean, have you ever just sat at the have you ever just sat um at a railroad crossing? You see a train and you see all of the stuff that's connected to the train. That's how some of your li lives look. You got a whole bunch of stuff attached to it. And it's causing you to sit there and wait as you watch all of your stuff, all of your issues being connected one after the other. While you, while, while again, you have a whole bunch of people sitting there at the light waiting for you, waiting for your stuff just to cross. But that's what happens when you lead with your heart and not with your mind. Just saying, if that was for you, say, say you were talking to me, this was for me. If that was for you, if you if you've been if you've been called out of character here lately because you've been leading with your heart, say you talking to me, coach. I have not been sensible. <laughs> I have been, been led by my emotions. I have been led by my emotions. I have been I, I am out of character right now because I'm stuck in my feelings. I'm stuck in my emotions. I'm making bad behind choices because I'm caught up in my feelings. I'm caught up. I'm caught up. No matter if it's love or you're caught in anger or you're caught in hate. It's all it's it's all an emotion. I, even when I was dating, I would always say, you know what? I don't need you to love me. I just need an emotion from you. Because if I if I have an emotion from you, I got you. No matter if it's love or hate, it's still an emotion. So if I can get, so if I can make you emotional, no matter if you love me, hate me, it's still an emotion. I'm just saying, don't let your feelings lead you astray, y'all. Don't look, don't let it get you. And that's what's up. I'm going to um, post up a move of the day for you. But I just wanted to talk to you this morning because I, I felt like, you know, you know, sometimes we just need to talk like this uh, because I see everything. <laughs> I see absolutely everything. And I and when I see everything, I'm like, oh, no, you're about to mess that up. Because you being led by this. Oh, you're being led by this. You being taken for, for a ride. Only to be dropped off. <laughs> Only to be dropped. You don't even know where you're being dropped off to. Get out your feelings. Emotions will get you, baby. Emotions will get you. But I love y'all. Check it. I'm about to bounce up out here. But I'm going to go ahead and um, post up a move of the day for you here so you can go ahead and knock that out but uh look let's look let's dominate and dominate and when i say the word dominate i'm talking about you dom not only you dominating everybody else i need for you to dominate you get past your little feelings i need for you to dominate your feelings by using more logic thank you tracy just saying look when you start looking at things from a logistic standpoint, you'll you'll make fewer unforced errors. You'll make fewer unforced errors. Because I'm telling you, <laughs> life is, we make life way too hard. We make life way too hard. The, somebody could come up to you and tell you the answer is A. Here you go. I wonder if they trying to trick me. I don't know. No, the answer is A. I'm not sure. Again, that's what, look, that's why you have this. Use it. I'm trying. Look, but most of, most of all, DJ Tate Motors make you cry sometimes. 
But most of most of all, it'll make you fall in love. But you better hope it's with the right person. <laughs> cause if it ain't, look, cause if it ain't, pain. <laughs> pain. And and that and, and I'm gonna leave you with this too. Making the wrong choices based upon this right here will cause you pain. Let me say it again. Can, can I get an amen? If you know what I'm talking about, just give me an amen. If you give this to the wrong person, no matter if it's your heart, your feelings, or your emotions, it causes a lot of pain. Have you ever just given yourself to the wrong person? You invested a whole bunch of time, whole bunch of effort, a whole bunch of energy. You gave it to the wrong person and it caused you pain. We, we, we ain't talking, wait, wait, wait. And we're not talking about a few days worth of pain. We ain't, we ain't even talking about a couple weeks worth of pain. There's a residual thing when you give this, no matter if it's your heart, your love, your emotions, when you give that thing to the wrong person, it has residual. How many, how many of y'all have had children? Be honest. How many of y'all done had children with, with people you don't like no more? Throw your hand up. Or you married the wrong person. You, you you married the wrong person. You started off liking that person. At, at some point, you probably would have died for that person. But now you can't wait for they behinds to die. <laughs> Pain. You can do the right thing with the wrong person. And it will cause pain, not hurt. Not disappointment. Pain. <laughs> I tell you, versus, versus, had you just thought about it and you start looking for those red flags early and, and you start, you know, listening to your intuition, you could have saved yourself years of pain. <laughs> but you, but you dismissed everything. You just dismissed it. They had some certain tendencies you saw. You saw some numbers that didn't quite match up. You saw some behaviors that made you say, dang, what's up? You saw them, you saw that person snap for the first time and, and get, a, get a, extremely emotional, but you just bypassed that. Versus had you thought about it, you'd have been like, shoot, I don't think this is it. Uh -uh. I, don't, I don't think, I don't think this is it. But your heart said, you know, that was just a one-time thing. You know, and some of y'all, I ain't gonna say no name. Some of y'all be finding reasons why the person jacked up in the first place. You know what? Maybe if I hadn't have said that, and, and you know what, and I do, you know, set people off. Maybe if I hadn't have said that, or maybe if I hadn't came, you know, at, at this person this way, maybe if I would have just came, went about it a different way, maybe. And you'll find all kind of reasons why it's your fault. This person crazy. You'll find reasons to blame yourself why, 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 you know, why people cheated on you. Hey, maybe if I was home enough, maybe I wasn't at home enough. Maybe if I did spend more time, dang, this is my fault. Well, every time this person want to do something, I always said, no, I wasn't in the mood. So, dang, so I guess it is my fault. Am I talking to somebody? Am I talking to somebody? Cause I feel like I'm talking to, I feel like I'm talking directly to somebody. If I'm talking to you, say you all up on my toes, coach. But I'm just saying, look, 
Look at things objectively. See it for what it is. Make the decisions based upon the evidence, not based upon your feelings. And I'm going to leave you with that. Love y'all. I'm up out of here.